All praise to Yahweh Shem Shai. Double honors to the elders and peace and blessings to all you brothers out there. You know, preaching the word all over the world. And uh, this is GMS Rapid Fire. And uh, we got a in, we got, the in the spirit. We got a little article we're gonna go into. You know, during the week we try to we try to find you know just just during our little we'll say leisure time we try to find articles. You know, just pass them back and forth to brothers, so you know we get just just different things to talk about, whether it be at camp or just in our daily lives. You know, we walk into the store or at the grocery store. You know, we just talking about all these atrocities that are going on, and in doing that, I came across this article as referring to abortion, and uh, I'm just going to go straight into it. The title of it is "Abortion Activists Caught on Camera." possessed by spooky Hail Satan chant at Texas Capitol. And this is, this is a natural news article, so you could go to natural news and just type in uh, Hail Satan or something like that. You, it'll go straight to the article. And we might even have it in post-production. You may have heard that Texas is seeking to outlaw late-term abortions, the kind of abortions that kill or murder a nearly full-grown baby who has eyes, ears, hands, a beating heart, and can experience pain. The idea that such pre-born human beings cannot be murdered at will infuriates pro-choice of abortion activists and the true inspiration for their desire to kill babies. And, and that's a true statement, because if, you, if you're down for abortions, you have a, a desire to kill babies. And now I keep saying kill to murder babies. That's one of the uh, commandments. Thou shalt not easy. Kill. Thou shalt not kill. That's easy. That, that's easy. That's your what's what's our stance on abortion? Thou shalt not kill. Do it. A truly bizarre, almost creepy video has just surfaced revealing pro-abortion activists chanting "Hail Satan." in unison at the Texas Capitol building. So, I, I, you know, I watched the video and the lady was, you know, she, she's talking about, you know, Jesus and whatnot. And she, she's talking about how she's against abortion. And she's going on, talking about this and talking about that. And then, and then all of a sudden in the back you hear, Hell Satan, Hell Satan. And I mean, they turning up the... the, the <laughs> Man, they was tripping about it. That was going right. This was just a crazy video to watch in regards to this topic on abortion. As you can hear for yourself in the video, people in the background chanting Hail Satan during the speech of a woman who opposes late term abortions. The woman giving the speech is saying, we have doctors down in Houston who, who are butchering women and butchering children. And that's exactly what they're doing. That's why they're, you know, they're saying that if you have an abortion, a lot of times you, you uh, drastically decrease the chance of being able to have another baby at all. Because you're going inside your body and butchering yourself. Yeah. Yep. And besides the fact that, that the Lord you know, already said, thou shalt not kill, that's one reason why that you're not uh, uh, going to be able to have another baby again. Because you, you, you already ruined your chance. Yeah. That's a blessing from the Most High. To be able to have a baby, especially for a woman, mm -hmm. I believe the scriptures say. Uh, uh, I'm, I'm kind of paraphrasing it, but uh, uh, a woman is saved in childbirth. Right. I which, believe it says that. Which, which right, which is going into if you got a woman dealing with a man of the truth. Exactly. But of course, the women in the world they don't they they take bearing if if they don't get an abortion they take giving, getting children as a paycheck pretty much. That's right. So they abuse that, you know? And the pro-abortion people raise their voices singing and chanting, Hail Satan, Hail Satan, over and over again. Go ahead and get uh, Psalms 10, 10 and 4 for me. Psalms chapter 10, verse 4. The wicked through the pride of his countenance will not seek after the Most High. The Most High is not at all in his thoughts. The Most High is not at all in those people's thoughts. The most, I mean, they're in there chanting, Hail Satan, Hail Satan. With, in unison, and in that they're saying, murder babies. It's okay to kill babies. It's all, it's all right to kill babies. It don't matter 
Yeah, we're going to go in more, and they're saying that they, you should be able to do it up to age three. Yeah. But they're in, I mean, the Most High is not at all in these people's thoughts. This, I mean, America, This, if you don't know that this is Babylon, Egypt, and Rome, and that that, that woman sitting on that scarlet beast, then yeah. you just close that Bible, give it up, and go and enjoy yourself. Live your life. Cause this is this is the this is the foulest place on the earth. That's why this place has to be destroyed. Yep. Like the Lord said, in one hour, this place will be taken down. Right. And this is just one of the reasons why. Mm -hmm. I mean, obviously, we could go on, you know, for days. Yeah, we just yeah, yeah. yeah endless stream of articles sitting up here all the rest of the year going into why this place should be destroyed. That's right. And you finished with ten and four. Yeah. Go ahead and get Psalms 14 and start at verse 1. Psalms chapter 14, verse 1. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. They are, they are corrupt. And these works are, are completely abominable. To just hail Satan, let's kill babies. Right. You can, These people got to go, period, point blank. These people got to go. Yep. Go ahead. Uh, there is none, they have done abominable works, there is none that doeth good. The Lord looketh down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand it. If there was high. any and, and that, would, that would seek the Most High, if there was any that would, you know, turn away from these, these completely abominable acts, including abortion. Right. And they're all, now you got them uh, chanting hell Satan. Yep. Go ahead. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that Completely do it good. Completely filthy, and there is none that do it good. Outside of the truth, there is none that do it good. And even some of these brothers in the truth are going off. And the Lord is going to take them out. Now you said that was in the, t in the capital here, Texas, right? Yeah. That's so that's, that's, back, that's uh, back in my home's hometown. Of all places for a group of people to not only talk about pro-abortion or or, 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 or or protest before abortion, but they're going to chant hell Satan. And of all places there, that shows you how, how far this place is going now. Because you wouldn't have heard about no shit like that five, ten years ago. No. I, I, I grew up in Austin. I've never heard about nobody chanting hell Satan right in the capital. Mm -hmm. Not there. And, and, and with the brother, well, I don't want to jump the gun. He gonna get to it eventually. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that is it? You done with that? Um, just read through verse three. Verse chapter uh, <laughs> verse three. They are all gone aside. They are all together become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. No, not one. No, not one. You got women. You got women. They'll, they'll, you know, they'll, you at the club or bar or whatever. And that's one of the first questions they ask you. You got kids. You got how many kids you got? You got kids. And the guy will say, yeah, I got two kids, you know, but I'm not with my baby's mother or whatever. Right. And she'll turn her nose up. Yep. But that same woman has had four abortions. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yep. And that's just the ones that she'll tell you about. She's not gonna tell you about the ones she had when she was 15, 16. Yep. And in high school, because you know, they can go, they can these young kids, young women can go and have abortion at Planned Parenthood. They don't even have to tell their um, parents about it. Mm -hmm. But they got the nerve, to, especially the nigga woman has the nerve to turn her nose up when you you would have four kids, but you killed them. Not kill, you murdered them. Yeah, yeah. You're a, you're a four time murderer. You got four counts of first degree murder on your hands. But it's it's uh, subsidized and, and what's the word I'm looking for? It's, uh, the, the state is um, for it. They, they co sign it, for lack of a better way to. To, to put it, they're with the fact that you're killing a baby, and specifically if the father is uh, of the nation of Israel, they definitely gonna be they get, uh, uh, for that. Now, if you, I mean, cut you no, off. No. If you, I know here in Texas, I'm not really sure about other states, but here in Texas, if you're driving around, you'll see those uh, billboards, and those it'll. I forget exactly how it's worded, but you'll have the Jake woman. It'll, it's either gonna be it's a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah or Judah, they'll have them on there, 
with that sad look. Yep. With a with a phone next to their head. Pregnant, scared. They'll say pregnant, scared. Yeah. Just call Planned Parenthood yep. or call this number. Yeah. And you know exactly yeah. what they're talking yep. about when yep. they say call. Yep. That's true. You want to kill your baby? You want to murder your baby? Give us a call. We'll take care of the whole thing. They don't never have no Edomite women on the billboards. That's exactly, especially here. And I've never seen not one of them bill, and I've seen plenty around outside of my neighborhood. Dog. It's always, the times I've seen it, it's always been the Issachar right chick on the, on, the, on the billboard. And you know they got Judah on there too. Mm -hmm. They said, don't call us, you know, we'll, uh, we'll murder that baby for you. So then you can go live here, because because you probably you would assume that the girl on the phone was probably still in high school, about to graduate, just out of high school. So she got the rest of her oh, life shit, to try oh, to shit. live. Not even in high school. Either. Or that, yeah. She want to live her life. So hey, well, you got you know you want to live your college life. You know you want to go have fun and this and that. Don't let a kid hold you down. Mm -hmm. So go ahead and get rid of them. And it just right casually get rid of them. Not knowing yeah. that's a life. I, I believe. In Austin, they got a Planned Parenthood right across the street from one of them high schools. I forget which one it is. Uh, if, if, I can't even think of it. It might be Reagan or Travis. But Martin. either way, the uh, abortion clinic was built right across the street from a high school. There's one right across the street from a, a black college. It's, it's called Houston Tillotson College. Is that down there? Uh, right there in South Street. Yeah, I think that's, that's probably what you're talking about. It's right, it's literally right. I pass through there all the time, right across the street from Houston Tilton College. And the way that, that, that neighborhood is divided on that street, which is, is 7th Street, on the north side of it block, you got Judah. And on the south block side of it, it's a car. It's literally like that. So guess who I was going to that clinic? Building it up. Yep. Two, what is it, two, three hundred dollars a pop? Mm. And the nigga woman, man, and, and I'm not gonna excuse the men because they with it as well. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. the only thing is, the man don't have no choice. That's right. right. right the yeah. man ain't got no choice, you know, in or out. But if you with it, then you're gonna catch a destruction as well. Mm -hmm. You are in agreement with it. You know what I mean? Right. If, yeah, yep. I know, I know somebody now who's talking about. I, I, I mean, he's in the world, so I wouldn't get on him too much, but I was like, man, don't do that. You might as well, you got the girl pregnant, you might as well deal with that. You don't have no damn abortion. Do you want that on your hands? Well, let me yeah. I'm gonna jump back cool. in there. The chanting of Hell Satan garnered the attention of the UK, uh, United Kingdom Church of Satan, which was offended by it. Now, <laughs> when have you ever heard the Church of Satan being offended? <laughs> By anything. Man. I'm going to read that one more time. <laughs> the chanting of Hell Satan garnered the attention of the United Kingdom Church of Satan, which was offended by it. Mm. So the Church of Satan was offended by these these, these devils yep. <laughs> that was in the Capitol building Hell no. saying Hell Satan. So even Satan was offended <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> by the murder of the babies. Yeah. Yep. Apparently, the butchering of 20, 20 week old children is too diabolical. I'm sorry, let me I'll start up. The church, the church of Satan actually tweeted, Un unfortunate to see Satan's name used in such a diabolical manner. <laughs> now, when have you ever heard of something like that? Man. The man. church of Satan being <laughs> offended oh, by, by, by the chanting of hell Satan. As for abortions, now even Church of Satan people was like, man, I don't, I mean, I do fucked up shit, yeah, but I don't get down like that. I don't get down. That that's not my style. That shows you how far down the damn drain America itself is just going. You got people from, you got the damn Church of Satan from way across the pond looking at these devils over the church, these devils over here in church chanting hell Satan, and they like, no, what we. No, that's it's the same thing as, okay, you got these celebrities, they'll go on Twitter, mm -hmm. and they, you know, they'll give their little stance on something, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. It's, Satan, Satan found out what they were saying about abortion, yeah, got yeah. on his Twitter account, and said, I ain't got nothing to do with that. <laughs> Satan, oh. got on, Satan got on his iPhone, yeah. his iPhone 5, and said, you know what, that's too much. Yeah. Ain't I ain't got nothing to do with that. I mean, don't drag me in Apparently, the butchering of 20-week-old children is too diabolical for even Satan. Yeah. 
but it is considered a right by U.S. abortion advocates. No, note that Texas is not trying to ban trying to ban all abortions. It's only trying to ban abortions after a certain amount of time. So just like that lady was up there giving her speech, she wasn't saying they're they're, they're in opposition not not necessarily to abortion in general. Just uh, just amending the law to where they can do it after a certain amount of time. Right. So even she was going off, but woman and, and it, you know and she was a cracker so she was going off to begin with yeah. but the point being is they weren't trying to outlaw it they were just trying to stop it after that certain point yeah yeah well it should be completely outlawed i mean just if i say that you, you, you literally were we kept hitting on this point when we read this article last night you're you're a murderer you're literally, you're 100% murderer. Go ahead and go back to read uh, Psalm 14 and verse 3 one more time. Read that one more time. Like, write what you were just saying. Right back to Psalm chapter 14, verse 3. They are all gone aside. They are all together. They're all filthy. gone aside. They're all filthy. All of these people. All of these crap, all of these heathens, and two thirds of our people as well, they're all going aside. And they're all about to get judged. Period, point blank. This is a disgusting world that you're living in, that we're living in. Go ahead. There's none that doeth good, no, not one. Not one. So she thinking she up there, you know, she talking about Jesus this and Jesus that, but yeah. you going off too. Yeah, you ain't you ain't opposed to the abortion. You only opposed to it after a certain amount of time. Pro choice. The, if you were pro choice, you shouldn't have been out there having sex willy nilly. I mean, yeah, yeah. what what is the point of having sex to procreate? Yeah. And the fact that you can create that is a blessing. Yeah, that the man's sperm works. That the woman that her uh. uh Uterus and eggs and her, her, her whole fertilization process works as well. Yeah, yeah. That's a blessing. So then you're going to take that and just say, nope. Kill the baby. All these women out here, their wounds are all jacked up. Mm -hmm. But yours per works perfectly fine, but you just killing the baby. Mm -hmm. you using your body as just a vessel for sex. Yeah, the pleasure your, of a man. Get your rocks off. And the pleasure of yourself. Hey, there's a scripture in Syriac, I, I can't remember where it is, but it basically starts off by saying, Why art thou against the pleasure of the Most High? Mm -hmm. Now the Lord said, if you go back to Genesis, be thou fruitful and multiply. So when you have sex, it's you enjoy sex, and then nine, ten months, eight months, however much long later, if, you, if the Lord blesses you, the woman gets pregnant, and the child comes out. Mm -hmm. The Lord set it up to be that way. But this place is so against the, the Most High that they legalize murder through abortion. That's right. Uh, but killing babies just before they're born isn't quite enough for these Satan worshipers. Mm -hmm. As has already been revealed, abortion activists want babies to be aborted even after they are born. They call it abortion. They're trying to kill babies after they're born. Now, how you gonna call that abortion? Yeah, they, they call it post-birth. I'm about to go there. I'm about to read that right now. When you abort something, that means you started it, but you don't complete it. Right. Just like we were talking about last night. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. On a mission, they'll say abort, abort. They get on the radio, abort, abort. You don't go through the mission, and then, and then yeah, already kill, already killed the people. You can't do that. And then get on the radio, uh, abort. Yeah. No, that don't make no sense. You can't do that. Oh yeah, that's, that's stupid. As has already been revealed, abortion activists want babies to be aborted even after they're born. The practice is called post-birth abortion, or simply infanticide. Hold up, the so-called white man is a goddamn idiot. I'm just to touch on that point again. What post-birth abortion? If you just listen to those three words in the same sentence, that makes no sense. None. Just keep repeating that to yourself in your head on your own. Just tell me. Post, post, post birth abortion. That don't make no sense at all, man. None. None. Or simply infanticide, 
and abortion activists want women to have the right to murder or kill, kill or murder their children up to age three. So they're saying that you can abort a child up to age three. Hmm. That's what they're pushing for. Mm -hmm. Now, if anybody, you know a child is three years old, her, you can, you, they, you can, they can follow through with, with, you know, questions. You ask them to go get you something, and they can go get it. Walking around. Talking, walking around. Understanding stuff. Crying. Yep. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Not, I mean, not just crying like when a baby, just kind of willy-nilly. Yeah. Well, they, they emotionally. They exactly. Feel they, they feel pain, they'll cry. Yep. You, 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 you say something funny, or they see something funny, they'll laugh. They'll laugh. Yep. They taste something. And they'll, mm, and they'll, they either they don't like it or they'll like it. Yeah, yep. So a name, and then Esau's system got a social security number. Yep, yep. So that's a person. That's a full that's grown person. That's grown, but that's a person with right under the under Esau's constitution with rights. That's a person. Mm -hmm. But you saying you saying so you up? It's two o'clock in the morning. The baby's sick. The little girl, two and a half years old, she's yeah. sick in her, in her room crying. Yeah. And you in there, you got to go to work tomorrow. You say, you know what, I, I don't have time to deal with this. I'm going finna, I'm to finna have an abortion. Yeah. Go in there and strangle the little baby. Mm -hmm. That's pretty much the same that's, thing. That's what Satan is, uh, that's what Esau, well, I said it right, that's what Satan is pushing for. Hey, can I say this, bro? Go ahead, brother. Now, this is the same motherfucker that'll tell you that you can't whoop your kids, but you, gotta, but you can let him kill them. Right. Where's right. the, where right. the right. You, you right. think right. take your kids right. away? They take mm -hmm. their kids away if you whoop them. That's you know yeah, what that's true. That, but, yeah. then, but then, but then you can, but you can let you can take your kids to them and just let them kill it. Yep. Come on, man. This, yeah, that's what, the, that's what they're pushing for. That's completely the, backwards. Mm -hmm. It don't make no doubt. Let me let me read this for you. Right. 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 This is Hosea nine verse uh, thirteen through fourteen. It said, or verse fourteen. Third slide. Hosea 9 verse 13. Ephraim, as I saw Tyrus, is planted in a pleasant place, but Ephraim shall bring forth his children to the murderer. Now, who's Ephraim? It's talking about the, the, the so-called Puerto Ricans, which really when you go into it, it's talking about the whole northern kingdom. So it's referring to the Latin tribe. And it's funny, Ephraim, that means fruitful. That mean, yeah, yep. That's funny that you that's, that. that yep, that's what, yep, yep. Ephraim, the word Ephraim means fruitful. Mm -hmm. Now, what applies to one tribe of Israel applies to all. So all the tribes are doing it. No matter if you look at the Latin tribes or the Negro woman. The Negro woman heads, leads the damn charge. All right? But what does it say to mean when it says, Ephraim shall bring forth his child to the murderer? It's talking about these damn, the so-called white man in particular, who we're going into today with these abortions. Because that, what they're pushing for you to be able to kill your child at age three. This is a child, like you said, this is it's, it can understand, it's walking, talking, and doing stuff. It's bad enough that they can already abort when the, the child's in the woman's womb. Now, in some, or in some cases, in some pictures, they show damn near a full-grown fetus that's all jacked up, coming out of, out of the nigga woman's womb. But now they push them forth to where the child's already been born. The abortion shouldn't, it, it technically shouldn't even be uh, 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 an issue now. It's not abortion anymore. Now it's just cold-blooded murder of a child. So if that don't show you that this so-called white man is the devil, why would they even push for something like that? You, 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 uh, you, you gonna be destroyed pretty much. That's right. You know. In support, I'm gonna go. You, you, you know, you're done with the scripture. Come on, that's it. In support of the practice of murdering infants, two bioethics. Uh, Alberto Giobellini and Francesca Minerva. Minerva, that's a, uh, I forget uh, what the that is. Hindu, that's, I mean, that's Hindu. Recently authored a paper that was published in the Journal, Journal of Medical Ethics entitled After Birth, uh, After Birth Abortion, Why Should the Baby Live? So they wrote a, pa a paper and had the audacity to title the paper After Birth Abortion, Why Should the Baby Live? This, the scientific paper, if you want to call it that, actually argues for the killing or murdering of babies as follows. When circumstances occur after birth 
such that they would have justified abortion, what we call afterbirth or afterbirth abortion should be permissible. Now, what circumstances? Right. Well, what, uh, what circumstances cause for an abortion? Period. Right. 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 Now, you. I mean, you have somewhere where the, the birth might kill the mother or something like that. Obviously, that's not even what I'm getting into. What we're getting into is what the nigga woman does. Yeah. Get pregnant. Don't even tell the dude. And she down there having an abortion, yep. but now they're, they're now that she has the baby, and she could just come up with a, a reason as to why she can have an abortion, mm -hmm. and they're pushing to have this legalized. And if I can add to that, you are you got a woman to get in trouble with the law for murdering their child, their child, in spite of their husband, because they don't like the, the, the baby's father. Mm -hmm. Now they're going to legalize that. Yep. So if let's say this gets legalized, you're going to have a nigga woman all over. Just kid, you can have mass killing of children, and, be, and they just be able to get off stuff. You you at the grocery store, you see the girl, you may not know her, or whatever. She's holding a little girl, two years old, mm -hmm. and you know you you may say what's up, trying to get her phone number or whatever. Then the next time you see her, the baby's gone. Where did the baby go? I had an abortion. What? That's I had an abortion. Yeah, and th 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 wait a minute, you how you just put that scenario, you know how crazy that sounds? That's what they trying to do. <laughs> You're like, what? We propose to call this practice afterbirth abortion rather than, than infanticide to emphasize the fact, emphasize that moral status of the individual killed is compar comparable with that of a fetus ra rather than that of a child. So they're saying that that little girl that's two years old mm -hmm. is in fact the same thing as, as, a, fetus. as a fetus inside your womb. So it's okay, but it, well, what about when you got people that have murdered little kids? You gonna right. let them out of jail? And call yeah, yeah, we didn't think about that last night. Like the women that murdered, like you were saying, that murdered their kids. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They gonna, well, that was abortion. Oh, you gotta let her out. You gonna cut? Yeah, you got. They got people that anybody that's locked up and killing child children under the age of three, three or under. You potentially gotta let them go. They want that. Well, yeah, you want to get you a lawyer. You get out of here. Yep. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we claim that the killing of a newborn would be ethically permissible in all the circumstances where abortion would be. And obviously, it's up to age three. Mm -hmm. So they're saying we, it should be okay to murder. Uh, it, oh, I think it's a toddler up to age three. Oh, yeah, yep. toddler, yeah. It's okay to murder them because whatever. We'll just come up with a reason. And we'll do it. Right. But you can't whoop them, though. Yeah, you can't whoop them. Don't whoop them. Bring them to us, we'll kill them. It also states that newborns do not have the same moral status as actual persons. Well, then why are y'all charging these people with all these crimes yeah, against yeah. children? Yeah, th that's true. If that's the case, if that read that again, brother. I'm sorry. It also says newborns do not have the same moral status as actual persons. So if, new, if newborns don't have a, a, if they're in fact not a person, then you shouldn't be charging nobody out there that's murdering children. You got baby killers and such out there. You, you need to leave them alone. According to your standards, we don't agree with that shit, but according to your standards... Or you, you give them a job. Yeah, that, well, that, that, yeah. Are they, they hire, are they hiring for that devil? Yeah, yeah. What the fuck wrong with y'all, man? That's, that, dog, that's, this is another reason why this place is called Babylon. Confusion. Exactly. Go ahead. The fact that both are potential persons is morally irrelevant to them. The conclusion of the paper states, I mean, they just don't give a damn. If a disease has not been detected, during the pregnancy, if something went wrong during the delivery, or well, it says if a disease has not been detected. Now, how many times have you heard about a little infant or a little baby had some kind of disease, but as they grew, they, they were able to overcome it? Right. Now, how many times have you heard about that? Mm -hmm. But they're saying, no, nah, your baby got a disease. Go ahead and kill him. Kill him. Yeah. By the time I come back and get something to eat, I want this done. Mm -hmm. That's what they said. Uh, yeah, I mean, at a certain point, either the baby, the child will grow up and get over it, or they'll give them the proper uh, uh, medicines or whatnot to help them. Mm -hmm. Pharmaceuticals, albeit, but they, you know, they'll get up and get over that shit. But now nah, they just like kill them. 
if a disease has not been detected during the preg pregnancy, if something went wrong during delivery, or if economical, social, or psychological circumstances change, if e economical, what does that have to do with a baby being born? Right. What does that have to do with the fact that you was having sex in the first place? Yeah. You was broke when you was having sex? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right? Yep. So why are you? Why, why all of a sudden is it a surprise? Right. Didn't have no condom on. Whatever the circumstances are, now you're pregnant. Now it's you acting like you don't know how this happened. Right? How could how could I be pregnant? You looking up in the air? You had a, a rod in you. That's how you're pregnant. If you, if you if you was too broke, you should have thought about that before you was getting drilled. The possibility of getting pregnant, you can't deal with that right now because you ain't got no money, so you should have just closed your legs. And it says psychological circumstances. What the hell does that mean? That's just saying if you change your mind. Mm -hmm. That's all it's like that if it was your psychological circumstance change is just saying that if you just change your mind, you can go ahead and abort the baby up to age three. Or if economical or social or psycho psychological circumstances change, such that taking care of the offspring becomes an unbearable burden. Now, that's your offspring. How is this unbearable burden? But all you got to do, if you don't want a child, you just can't take, it gets born, and you get to the point where you just know you can't take care of it, take it to an adoption. Drop it off at a, 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 a fire station or a hospital. They'll take it in. Take it somewhere where it's low, it can at least grow up and have some kind of damn chance. Now, I gotta say this. We all know that it's the judgment of the Lord who lives and who dies. But that don't excuse, it's no excuse for these people to be doing that shit and for our people to be down with it. That's right. Especially our people. Yep. The Lord told us to be fruitful. Yep. And if you, if, if you, it's not as though your economical circumstance is going to change drastically, just like that. Right, right. To where, oh man, I, no, I ain't got no money, I gotta have an abortion. Right. Mm -hmm. You just want to do that. That is just a want and a desire in your heart is to kill that baby so that you can continue on with the madness that you're involved in. Yep. You won't be able to go to the club for a certain amount of time because you're pregnant and then you're going to have the baby, so no, I don't want to do that. Right. I won't be able to keep my same figure. Yeah, it'll mess up your figure. It'll mess, mess up, up my figure. Yeah. Or, you know, I won't have the same freedom. Or I might have to change my job. Right. I might lose my job or something. Mm -hmm. None of the, Through none of them circumstances did, did you ever say, oh, I'll just trust in the Lord and, you know, He'll take care of me. I ain't got no money, but it's a it's a beautiful blessing that you know we're able to, to have this child. Right. And obviously, if the Lord gave us a child, then the Lord said He's not going to put too much on you to put more on you than you can handle. Right. But you don't never think that way. Nope. You go straight to Egypt. You go straight down to Egypt for help, yeah. and look at what you got yourself into. Now you done killed the baby, and it's two, three, four years later, and that's so heavy on your mind that you damn near want to kill yourself. You should have thought about that before. That's what scripture says, you are of your father, father the devil. And he was a murderer from the beginning. Mm -hmm. Guess what? You just like that. You just like that. Let me get something. Just like the so-called white man. You he's a murderer. You envy you envy him, so you're gonna be a murderer. That's right. But can I say this? It, go, that's, that's, well, no, go ahead. Go ahead. I, was, I was gonna say, but you take it, Israel Israel. Over the steps of these are the wicked, so he takes it a step. I Shit, no, we take it a step further. He said, right for what you're talking about. Okay, go ahead. Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 24. Right. Nevertheless, through the envy of the devil came death into the world. Hmm. And that's that's Eve. That's right. the nigga woman. Right. Yeah. Following behind Satan. Right. Yeah. Yep. Following behind the, the so called white man. Yep. Giving their babies to the white man so they can make them gator baby. And yeah. they that do hold of his side do find it. And those that keep going to the devil for help, mm -hmm. they're going to find death. Right. death. They're going to find death. Go ahead, brother. That's just, that's just like uh, uh, in Ecclesiastes when it says it's nothing new under the sun. They've been killing our babies forever, man. Mm -hmm. yeah. They've been killing our babies. When Herod did that, 
You know what I'm saying? Yeah, when, yeah, when, yeah. when Pharaoh did that, when he heard about Moses, uh -huh. you know what I'm saying? And the reason why they want to kill us so bad is because they know who we are, man. That's right. They know who we are. And yeah, they know what the Lord put the Spirit on us to finally raise up. You know what I'm saying? They know they don't stand a chance. That's why they got all these different ways of killing us. You know what I'm saying? The AIDS in the hood, the, the drugs, you know what I'm saying? All this homosexuality and shit. They want yeah. us to be faggots. Yep. Then they aborting babies before they, before and after they born. Yeah. They just trying that's they just coming up with all these different type of ways to kill off Jake, man. Mm -hmm. And the spearhead is the nigga woman, man. Yep. She help she she wholeheartedly. She don't say she can't stand herself. That's right. You know what I'm saying? Then you wanna blame the baby daddy and blame all you wanna blame everybody but your damn self, man. That's right. right. Like you said, the, the nigga woman is the catalyst of the whole kill the baby movement. Yep. Right. She's the one that's pushing it so hard, making it so appealing to everybody. Like I said, she's the main one on the uh, billboard. Yeah, that's yes, right. Yep, yep. She's the main one on there. Look yep. at, with that look on her face, like she got some kind of option, some kind of choice. Well, I'm, yeah. I'm pregnant, what can I do? You can have that baby. Yeah, yeah. You can have that baby and, and, and do your damn job and, as a woman. And be yeah. happy that the Lord gave you that much. Let me let me read this real quick, just for this is the last piece of I had for what he just said. It says Exodus chapter one, verse nine through ten. It says, uh, verse eight through ten. It says, Now there arose up a new king over Egypt, which knew not Joseph. And he said unto his people, Behold, the people of the children of Israel are more and mightier than we. Right. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass. Right. And that, and that, that dealing wisely with them is giving them Planned Parenthood and giving them all these gifts and options. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. They give them the uh, what they, the food stamp card. They give them, you know what I'm saying? And once the and once the nigga woman trusts you, she gonna do whatever it takes to ride with you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's what, and that's what that's what was happening back then, all the way up to now. Go ahead. The same ones that was doing it back then are the yep. same ones doing yep. it now. That's right. Come on, let us deal wisely with them, lest they multiply and it come to pass that when they fall out any war, they join also unto our enemies. And fight against us and get them up out of the land. Come on, man. Yep. Come on, man. Is that not what's happening today? Yep. <laughs> Is that not what's going on right now? They want to keep the population of Israel right. down. Right. Because they know, hey, according to this prophecy in what is it, Zechariah, uh, or is it, no, Ze uh, uh, Zephaniah, I think, or is it, Joel? I can't remember, the third chapter where it says, take a fill the bow with Ephraim. Take oh, the bowl uh, eat from it, fill, fill it with, the, the with Judah. Yeah. Judah. Yeah. They know according to that prophecy that eventually the tribe is going to link up. Right. And they're going to they're going to rise up against this devil and take him down. Right. They fear that, so therefore they institute all these Planned Parenthood uh, policies, abortion policies, taking these birth controls, all this stuff right. to keep the population down. That's While right. at the same time they killing off all the Jakes. But then you got Octomom and shit. Yeah. Got that yeah, cracker yeah. bitch. Got having eight babies at the same time. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's right. That's but right. then you gonna kill one Jake baby before he even got a shot at it. Before he even. But technically, <laughs> if, if they get this law passed, if they get what they want, Octomom, the, the baby was about two years old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? Yep. This ain't yep. working out how I thought it was going to. <laughs> yep. So. One through nine, I don't want that. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm gonna yeah. see how these other ones turn out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna get them another year yeah, or so. Yeah, yeah. But yep. one through nine, I don't want them gone. So we gonna go to Applebee's. By the time we get back, I'm assuming well, it's all gonna man. be taken care of. Yeah. <laughs> and Esau coming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Y'all get. I got it. you. He holding I candy. Yeah. Like you do a dog. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Get him in a truck. Never see him again. Oh yeah, yeah. man, gone. Or you will see him again. Probably at the Bohemian Grove. Yeah, being sacrificed. Yep, yep, yep. They over there, man. They over there just having a blast. Man, yep. they man. got babies lined up way around the corner. Yeah, yep. making making Gatorade and Pepsi and shit. I'm gonna read this real quick. <laughs> Damn, I'm gonna read this. Boy, this place is Isaiah 30. Man, now, uh, Isaiah 30 well, verses one through six is talking about how you know uh, Jake will go to the to Egypt for help. Right. And not ask at the Lord's mouth. I'm going to read Isaiah 30 and 7. For the Egyptians shall help in vain and to no purpose. <laughs> to no purpose. In vain. Why? Because you're going to ultimately get destroyed anyway. Right. Because you're going, you're basically making yourself an offender if thou shalt not kill. Mm -hmm. Th therefore have I cried concerning this, 
their strength is to sit still. Hmm. And that, that's just saying that the, their strength lies in not helping you. Right. Their strength lies in, in to letting you yeah. just fall by the wayside yeah. and just get caught up in every little thing that he puts out there. Section 8 housing. Yeah, you get Section 8 housing which for your four kids at a subsidized rate of $35, right. but you, your man can't be there. Right. And, you, and to get uh, food stamps, you got to put the man on child support. It has to happen or you yep. will not get it. Yep. So that's all, you just, just ruining the family. They'll help you, but it's all in vain. Right. Their help is to kill you. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm sorry, their strength is to kill you. Yeah. Yep. I'm going to read this last little bit and I'm, I'm done with it. In other words, if the parents simply decide that they no longer want the baby after, after it's born, it is completely justified to kill it. This is the actual position of these abortion advocates. And he says, to make it all easier to understand, the paper should have simply be, simply concluded with, hell Satan." <laughs> and, and with that, like he said, they should have just well, said, hell Satan, we trying to kill, we trying to kill everybody, but especially uh, uh, the 12 tribes of Israel, mm -hmm. especially them. And, and unless you got a scripture, you got a scripture? Just one last one. Proverbs 16 and 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination unto the Lord. No hand joined in hand. And you got to be, I mean, just extremely proud to be sitting there. Yeah. And there she's telling about how it's, it's, you know, explaining how, man, it's terrible. And she's talking about how the fetus is already growing. Oh. It already has eyes. Yeah. It already, you know. And they're so proud that they're in the back saying, hell, Satan. Hell, Satan. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. No hand joined in hand, he shall not be punished. Nope. So it don't matter what you do. Even if you start to try to actually help Jake, it, Jake, it don't matter. You're going down. Period. You're, point. You're going right. to the wicked. Bring your children to the murderer. Yep. You're going to be destroyed. I was like, who's going to pity a snake, John? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nobody. And with that... <laughs> Y'all watch me, I shall drop a thumb. Shall I want? Shall I want?